सो हाई डियर पाइस इज अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टेरो एंड दिस इज अ जनरल लव रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द पाइस सन मून मीनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जनरल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यूर द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग द रूल्स कैन बी रिवर्स एनी टाइम थर्ड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम टू डेट द नेक्स्ट सेवेंटी टू आवर्स लो सो लेट स्टार्ट योर पार्टनर्स करंट फीलिंग्स फॉर यू राइट नाउ आर लेट सी Let's see, Pisces. Nine of Swords, the Fool, the Queen of Wands. Nine of Swords, Pisces. Somebody is very, very stressed. Very, very stressed. Very, very heartbroken. Somebody is. Okay, I feel like somebody chose something else over you, or you are choosing someone else over this person. So that is why they are completely heartbroken, stressed, and not being able to sleep at night, thinking about this situation, twenty-four uh, into seven, and they are like, okay, I messed up. I messed up. What should I do now? What should I do now? This is what they feel. Somebody definitely feels like coming towards you, rushing towards you, having this brand new beginning with you because now you are leveling up. Now you are no longer the same person as you used to be. Now you are not chasing them. Now you are not running behind them. When you are doing this, this person is finding you highly attractive, highly irresistible, right? And they know that you have options because you have leveled up. You got options. You have other things to do in your life apart from this situation. they definitely feel like they should come running towards you because now they cannot handle this energy of why you are moving on why you are uh, with new people why you are with new situations not able to handle this they were not expecting this from you that you are going to choose somebody else over them or that you are going to walk away and you are going to choose yourself over them so this is kind of creating tension in their mind lots of tension and lots of stress anxiety they are waking up at night like in between having nightmares kind of energies okay cannot handle it okay then why the hell you did this with my pisces losers hmm let's see aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius let's see what do you feel about this person or this situation you you better not feel anything about it <laughs> i'm not letting you go there <laughs> no no <laughs> okay the moon the king of cups and the six of pentacles three of pentacles so you definitely feel like having a partnership having a situation having a connection with somebody but you feel like there should be someone who is very practical very grounded who is going to offer you something stable in terms of your finances as well right and you definitely feel like going towards something new or someone new hmm you definitely feel like the next person or the next situation whosoever come towards you should be good good hearted flirty kind of they should have enough money or they should have enough stability at least that they can hand that the, they they can handle a partnership or relationship well this is what you feel see you are very scared to fall in love pisces this is your energy only you are very very scared you are you guys are very sensitive when it comes to love when it comes to your emotions and you always end up uh, uh, finding a wrong person or attracting a wrong person because you are always scared that you are not going to be enough this love is not going to be enough i'm never going to find somebody because you have this lack mindset in love you are always attracting the wrong person towards you okay honey so you feel like having somebody in your life who is going to give you this equal give and take of energy for example if you are giving them lots of love lots of care so they should also give you that energy back in form of gift or hugs or intimacy or whatever you call it so i feel you are definitely scared to love somebody or someone new but I think in the physical world you are trying to go towards something new or someone new, but in the inside of you you are very scared to love someone because you are in this energy. Of, okay, what if they are also going to do the same thing with me that the past person did? So you never know, honey. You have to test. Okay, you have to test. Life is a test, full of test. Hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Pisces. Let's see what action is this person going to take towards you till the next seventy-two hours, sweetie. Let's see. Don't be scared of love. Justice, Five of Pentacles, the Seventh Card, Queen of Swords. I don't think you are going to hear from this person at least in the next seventy-two hours. It's very difficult. I feel this person is still going through this energy of uh, unfinished business, business between you and them. They are ready to take action. They want to take action, but because you're cold and off and detached behavior, they are like scared to reach you. Wow. somebody definitely wants to bring the balance back in this situation or at least they want to apologize for what they did with you for this betrayal 
for this energy of leaving you left out leaving you feel left out in a situation leaving you uh, hanging on the wall leaving you in the cold somebody is just uh, trying to uh, have that courage to bring balance in the situation back just so in these next 72 hours i feel like they will be just fighting with themselves they will be just in this energy of okay let me find the courage to do something about it but i don't think they are going to do anything at least for the next 72 hours honey so nothing as of now but yes definitely somebody is very very scared and somebody is in this energy of why why Pisces is doing this with me because you did this with Pisces in the past honey karma 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 is a bitch cool oh my god what 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 I'm so sorry sweetheart I'm sorry yep let's see what is the guidance for you Pisces Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, Ace of Swords. So, okay, Six of uh, Swords, Ten of Swords. Simply, Six of Swords is moving on towards Karma Water. Yes, you are moving on. Of course, you are moving on in the 3D. But you are still carrying a lot of baggages of the past with you. Let those pa baggages or packages be in the past only, right? So, don't be so confused when it comes to love vices, right? Don't be in this egoistic state of mind. Okay, I'm trying to protect myself. If somebody is going to uh, hurt me, I'm going to kill them this time. Don't be in that kind of energy. You cannot attract love. Okay, let go of this confusing state of mind. Let go of this egoistic state of mind. And uh, uh, try to understand that whatever happened between you or somebody in the recent past was a lesson. Apply this lesson to this new uh, energy, new relationship or new connection or new path that you are going on in your life right now. See, you don't have to be egoistic. If you are going to be in this egoistic or giving up uh, state of mind that, okay, I'm not going to let anybody hurt me, you're never going to find love. You can only find love when you are yourself love, when you yourself is forgiveness, when you yourself is like, okay, I'm ready for love. I'm open to receive. My heart chakra is blooming. Don't be in any kind of relationship until unless you're completely over a situation or a hurt or uh, uh, uh agony or pain whatever you experienced right and uh, don't be in a relationship just because you feel lonely or sad you are always going to end up with the wrong person you have to feel independent happy within yourself you have to feel like okay only i can complete myself now i want uh, somebody by my side just to have fun just to be just to live my life with me just to be a part of my life not my life part of my life okay got it so thank you so much for tuning in Pisces. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.